mess outside right now. This is not a fun way. No <sighs> April Fools. Uh, this is going to stick around for a couple hours, yeah? At least until about 8, 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah, the fog, the drizzle, the mist. Uh, give yourself some extra time. It's not any heavy rainfall, but it's enough to cause some wet roads out there. Uh, this is how much warmer it is across the area compared to 24 hours ago. Yesterday was pretty mild, but it's even warmer this morning. Uh, temperatures, as you can see, 4 degrees warmer in town, same, or in Seguin, 2 degrees warmer uh, than it was this time yesterday in San Antonio, 7 degrees warmer in Pleasanton and in Gonzales. We have that strong south flow that's warming temperatures up uh, this morning, upper 60s to low and mid 70s, 69 degrees in San Antonio right now. If you do like the cooler morning, so that's going to start tomorrow morning. We'll have lows in the 40s later this week. The humidity is a lot higher. We're getting a lot of Gulf moisture here at the surface. Dew points also in the 60s and 70s. And typically when we have that dew point temperature in the air temperature right around the same temperature, then we tend to see fog and we're starting to see some low clouds and patchy fog. There is a cold front that will come through the area this evening. That's going to take away the humidity and it's going to feel a lot better over the next several mornings with dew point temperatures that will be a lot lower. Now, here's a look at the visit visibility map, nothing too widespread, nothing too dense, but we are seeing some low clouds and patchy fog that's reducing visibility, especially right around here in the central zone at the airport. Visibility is down to four miles, down to two and a half miles now in New Braunfels. Live powered Apple radar in those areas of green. That's where we're seeing the sprinkles, the mist, the patchy drizzle. We'll have that until about eight, nine o'clock in the morning, and then we should see some drier air mixing down uh, to the surface. There goes our next weather maker. It's a cold front that's currently stretched to across the West Texas that will continue to push off towards the east. Once it moves into our area, it's going to tap into the moisture that we have here. You add that with the heating of the day, and I do expect some scattered showers and even a couple of thunderstorms. So most of the day or after this morning, the rest of the day uh, will be dry. But then as we go into the evening, as the cold front comes in, we'll start to see some isolated showers and storms to the west of us. And then it looks like we'll see more scattered showers and thunderstorms getting closer to San Antonio and the I-35 corridor or after 7 o'clock this evening. After midnight, the showers and storms are off towards the east. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be cooler. It'll be drier. It'll feel so much better, and we're going to have sunshine. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has the area under a marginal to slight risk for strong to potentially severe storms. Uh, this means that we'll have to watch this area for storms that develop because they could become strong to severe with high winds and large hail, large hail being the primary risk. And right along the I-35 corridor is where we we are seeing that uh, slight risk. Again, that's going to be this evening after 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, this morning, cloudy, a bit foggy with areas of mist or drizzle. Temperature between 69 and 70 or 71 degrees. At noon, mostly cloudy, 77. This afternoon, we'll see some peaks of sun, and it's going to get pretty toasty. Forecast high up to 89. Eastern zone, mostly cloudy. The western zone, an isolated storm this afternoon. 40% chance of storms tonight. The rest of the week looking fantastic with lots of sunshine. Uh, you can get the extended forecast for your zone online at news4sa.com.